unbelievably important, right? Like so many more people are asking me questions about you guys today, right now on social, why are you there, what's going on? But you don't need to bring anybody, me, Scoble, anything. The real win for any community is you need to support each other and get a win. A company coming from this town that makes a global or at least a national impact on the scene is what it takes to take a city and put it on the map. That's just the truth. And so, you know, we need a big exit. Look, LA was a, it's not, it's not that you need a big exit. I don't want to play the VC game. You don't need a big round. You don't need a big, you need a big impact, right? Like you need a big impact. Like guys, Snapchat coming out of LA has changed LA tech and LA is a big city, right? But these things matter. GoDaddy in Arizona, these things matter. Even Diwala, you know, a lot of these companies start in places what you need to figure out, what the city needs to figure out is, I'm positive, and, I'm, and you guys know me, I'm not pandering to you, I don't give a shit how you feel about me. I'm positive that something amazing will come out of here. My concern is as soon as it starts happening, you're gonna move to San Francisco. And that's what happens. Facebook was started in Boston. Pinterest was started in Pennsylvania. So the key is not only, to fester the community, to help each other tech-wise, marketing-wise, to have a win. But then what can you guys do from a city and state level to make that person or that team want to ground themselves here for the long haul? And everybody that comes from a smaller town than a top five city always feels like they have to go to one of those cities to make it because of the tech talent or the venture capital. I, I believe that to not be true anymore because of the infrastructure around the internet marketing world today. So that's what, that's the truth. You can do a lot of events, you can do a lot of marketing, but what you need is a win. And I think if you get really back to the opening line here today, 5149, giving more to others, if you've got a business in this community that is not a direct competitor of your business and you have more marketing chops or you have more technical chops, cross-pollinating and helping each other is exactly what small towns can do better than big towns. And I highly recommend that Southern hospitality that is deeply rooted in your DNA to begin with, that you figure out how to use that in a business environment as well, because the impact of one of those people popping and winning will have a bigger ROI on your business as a halo effect than if you do it separately. It's true, thanks for the claps. But what's even more interesting is, I think it's, you know, back to stereotypes, I think it's more natural in you. I can tell you right now, it's not a lot of people from Jersey that are just gonna hook it up. You know, and so like, I do think that you should take it, I think everybody should bet on their strengths. And I think that sense of community that you guys have is very real and you should take full advantage of it. And I think the entrepreneurs in the audience get into the sharp elbows entrepreneur DNA and leave a little bit of that DNA of Southern hospitality on the side. And I actually think they should go completely the other way. Yeah, I mean, culturally, you have a lot of advantages because that is the culture. A hundred percent. And technology makes it to where you can let the money feel from going Because it's level. <laughs> you know, I, well, I think, I, think it, I think there's a lot of things. I think it's just momentum, you know, again, being somebody who's kicked off and been at the inaugural conference of a lot of small cities by comparison to New York, San Francisco, it's stunning with something just like this. It's unbelievable.